Well, I decided to uh, investigate my uh, high idle problem, you know, not getting idle down. And I had a little bit of a lean problem uh, when it was cold. And I managed to adjust that on the, the uh, computer. I just, it was a uh, um, fuel enrichment table versus uh, um, temperature. So at colder temperatures, I just had it run uh, just a little bit richer versus uh, when, it, when that, you know, then it warmed up, it, it leaned out and that, that fixed that. But I thought, well, you know what? I gotta uh, investigate this high idle problem. And uh, one of my comments, uh, I think it's heavy Chevy 79. He asked if it was a vacuum leak and I told him, no, I, I checked all that, you know, but I thought, man, you know what? I'm just, I'm gonna yank this uh, throttle body off and uh just investigate it you know maybe maybe the maybe i i checked you know i just sprayed around a little bit with some wd-40 trying to change the idle but i couldn't really you know notice anything so i thought i'm just pull this off i know these this is a chinese uh throttle body you know 50 bucks i mean so i thought well maybe there's something i'm missing on that or i just didn't um find where the leak was at you know so I'm almost embarrassed to even show this, and I really shouldn't, because I'm going to get a lot of crap from my brother, because he left a rag in his uh, axle tube and ended up pulling the whole rear end apart because he couldn't get the axle to go back in. This is just as worst, or worse, this is worse. you got to see this. I, I, I shouldn't even put this on, on the video, as I'm embarrassed, but check this out. Pull the throttle body off. Yeah, look what I find in there. A rag. <clears throat> I think it was from, you know, I would have never saw, I thought like, I had it stuffed in the intercooler pipe. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, it wouldn't get no junk in there. You know, from this angle, you can't see it. But look at that thing. No wonder, I mean, it wouldn't seal off and provide a lower idle and then <clears throat> when it was uh on here and if i always just you could always get just a little bit of movement you know maybe high idle and high and then i would just make it go down and it was always just a little bit of give there thought, well you know it is a chinese piece of junk but then i take it off and find that so I'm kind of lucky that they didn't really uh, do anything. <laughs> it just got stuck in there. I even took it out on the road a little bit. I mean, just happened to get around there and look at that. I'm embarrassed. It might work now. So we'll put it back together and try it. Okay. Got the rag out of the throttle body. Uh, made sure my uh, throttle position uh, sensor was zeroed out, and it is. So now we'll see if it starts.
Well, I still can't get the uh, idle down. I mean, I got it a lot better, like 1700, but not not as high as it had been with the rag in there. But uh, I, I'm gonna think I'm gonna pull this uh, um, throttle body off and uh, just go over it again, make sure there's no some kind of internal leak with it or yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna check it out. And then I might, uh, I got this uh, Ford throttle body. Um, I'm going to throw on there just to uh, experiment with uh, why I think uh, um, my throttle body is too big. I think, you know, the big one is just has too much surface area around it. I don't think it quite seals off or something. I don't know. This look, I don't know. But the problem with this one is the, uh, um, the elbow will adapt to a Ford. But the throttle's on the wrong side, and it doesn't have provision for throttle cable hookup on that side. Plus, it's just, I need some kind of other way to pull on it. It needs that. If you've seen the other one, it has like a plastic thing, or metal, there's a plastic over it that it, you know, wraps around, and throttle cable then hooks to that. Well, that's hard to explain. But if I can get this on there and get my idle down, maybe it'll something I mean I could wired that thing will control uh, Ford throttle position sensor and the uh, air idle motor so we'll see maybe uh, we'll just try it okay so you can see what I did this is where the set screw would be to you know control the stop point for your throttle what I did is I ground some off that and then off that side so they would close a little bit further i don't know if we can yeah we can't see it and it definitely i think closed it up if i look hold it up to some light it looks like it closes a lot better so i think i'm gonna try this first before i try the other throttle body you know when i took apart i don't really see anything wrong with it the only thing you know like maybe this air idle control motor maybe it doesn't extend out far enough for the um pocket depth in there you know it's supposed to seat off on the bottom to close it off and then it you know opens up to let air through and that's what controls the idle so i don't know maybe that's off i, I don't know i don't really know how these things work this one right here uh I never ran it because that's the Chinese one and this is the cheap Mexican one. But then you, know, you see they're out different lengths. So I don't know if this one was told, you know, to move and this one hasn't done it yet. I think that's all it is. So I'll put this back on there and see what it does. Okay, so before I fire it up, I want to check my uh, throttle position sensor. I'm just gonna push on just a little bit, see if I can get a reading on it. I did change some stuff. Yeah, and I can push down quite a bit of ways on it before. You can see it right there. Before it does anything. So what I'll do now is I'll go back. And go to the wizards. TPS auto set. So all I do is hit start, push the throttle down to the floor once, push the throttle down to the twice, hit the next button, so it was successful, hit done. I think you're supposed to. Turn the ignition on and off, off and on, I mean. Then we'll go back. And see, now I just barely push on it and it does something. That's good. So. 
There's a coolant temperature sensor, map sensor, idle air control motor. I don't know why I always call it air idle control, but oops, kind of the same thing. Let's see if she fires up. Definitely lower, too low. I think I changed some uh, parameters in there. I have to go back and uh, double check them. So now that I got uh, it closed off, it idles too low. My idle air control motor was up at forty percent, even with me giving a little bit of gas. So that means I got to put the throttle stop back in. So I can, you know, open the open the butterfly open up a little bit. Good thing. Maybe I'll be able to get control some idle that way. So kind of thinking uh, I was kind of right saying my uh, throttle body. I gotta remember this throttle body was made for a V8, probably two to three times as uh, engine size as this. So and this is, you know, it's 144 cubic inches. You know, so I can't really fault the throttle body so I'll do that next and then we'll try to start it up again well I got it running a lot better I can get the idle down it's a tough balance though between getting the idle air control motor I think they want between like six and ten percent and uh, having that open far enough but having the throttle blades it's a, it's, it's a real big balancing act right now but I really don't hardly have it warmed up yet. It's just, sorry for all the fingers and bad pointer here. It's just at 172 degrees. It is, whoa. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, my idol, I think on a different screen here now. Idle air control is at zero still, but uh, man, I can't, I don't know what screen I'm on. It's probably 178. But. Okay, so now it is in closed loop and it is learning. And it is uh, just a little bit high. I uh, messed around with the. Uh, the settings so I don't I have to go back and double check that but since it's in learning mode right now I'm just gonna kind of let it uh, do its thing and let it warm up a little bit the fan should be kicking on I think at 195 and then it goes off at 180 so you see our guy went to went real lean there and stalled out but I'm happy well I got the idle down so I guess it's a success I got a little bit of work to do with it yet on tuning it's really touchy I think I still might uh, look for a smaller throttle body because the, like I was trying to say earlier the uh, point of uh, having the throttle blades open far enough to where the the AIC motor isn't up too high and then when I turn the throttle blades down then it then it's up I don't know it's just you can see right now it's at zero but then if I open so I'll close the throttle blades right now then it then it goes up too high I don't know so I'm kind of all right. I'm I'm happy with this. I'm I'll probably end this video now and work on it some more. You know, probably the big thing would help if I drove it around a little bit. So we'll get to that in another video. Yep. Yeah.